If you were advertised the opportunity to be walking distance from your childhood, would that trip to memory lane be as nostalgic and bliss as it may sound? For Martin Sloan, a step back into the past was the break he needed from his present, but he would soon learn that moving forward into the future was the tried and true message that could only be granted in the Twilight Zone. Martin Sloan, a VP of an advertising slash media company, is driving along the New York countryside when he has to get some service for his car. But he couldn't have predicted that at this particular gas station, he'd be a few miles from where he grew up. Being walking distance from his hometown, fittingly called Homewood, he decides to journey there out of spontaneity and is mirrored back 20 to 25 years back in time of which occurs so subtly that he enters the local drugstore without realizing that the owner is alive and had him passed away like he mentioned, and paying in dollar bills for a chocolate soda with three scoops that costs 10 cents. He does eventually find out though as he is face to face with his younger self, whilst vicariously living through his memories occurring in real time. And what's to come is a walk down memory lane that, through some needed guidance, is a spectacle that makes for interesting commentary on how we may treat sentimentality in our own lives. Walking Distance holds a special significance to me and within this list because it was the episode that made me fall in love with The Twilight Zone. What allowed the episode to be such a standout in my mind is how it made nostalgia a tangible place. Some of the recollections that are shown include a walk along his neighborhood and throwing marbles across the street of his home that he referred to as the Sloan House, and a walk among the town park and seeing him carve his name in a bandstand and talking to his mother, and even see the carousel that his younger self gets injured from. And because the aura of Homewood has this softer lighting and allows for full shots of the scenery, it made it seem like the world was right outside of our homes. This was something of importance to Sterling's own experience and inspiration with the storyline, which in addition to another touch of off-camera narration was great to see. According to the Twilight Zone companions, he was walking on set at MGM when he was hit with a similarity of his hometown, which propelled him to visit the merry-go-round at the recreation park of his own childhood. And the rented carousel for this episode would be an overarching symbol for Martin's throughline. After the younger Martin is carried away with his injury, his older self, in a literal spotlight, contemplates on how he should live his life as it happens. And through some inserts of the carousel horses, we see his father offering some consultation. Earlier in the episode, we see Martin try to reconnect with his parents, and in his two attempts is met with speculation. And with the convenience of dropping his wallet on their porch, the father and son relationship blossoms into a wholesome conclusion about the greater things in life that occur in due time. Maybe when you go back, Martin, you'll find that there are merry-go-rounds and band concerts where you are. Maybe you haven't been looking in the right place. You've been looking behind you, Martin. Try looking ahead. And as a remaining element to the episode's success, this is also the perfect time to mention the work of composer Bernard Herrmann, who scored a lot of well-recognized motion pictures, including his collaborations with both Orson Welles and Alfred Hitchcock. On The Twilight Zone, he did compose the original score for a handful of other episodes, as well as the opening and closing theme for season one. And it is here where his expertise delivers and gives off a calming ambiance that would be reused a lot during the series' run. Its color of instruments included strings, bass, a harp, and the use of a calliope on the episode's second half, the last of which was a suggestion from Sterling that he was really passionate about. Nostalgia is a feeling that all of us have, whether it's with material belongings or fond memories, but while it may be enhanced to travel to in a more figurative sense, it's equally important to remember to enjoy the present and how we might have grown up. Of course, there are times in every step of life that have their ups and downs, and sometimes nostalgia could make someone blind of that reality. But through an imaginative touch of teleportation, it's Martin Sloan that gets to teach us that a chocolate soda with three scoops can be safer then and now. <laughs>